So I was not ready to unbox this box, but I have to, and I'll tell you why in a little bit. This came today and I wouldn't have even been inclined to open it so quickly, but it's such a game changer for me that I have to entertain it. <laughs> so I basically have a whole bunch of full power stations and this came today, which is gonna help me to kind of alleviate that and store more power, right? All right, let's take a look. Holy moly. <laughs> Y'all, this is a battery from Tim Got. <laughs> Tim Got the battery, you feel me? This Joker is a 300 amp hour battery at 12 volts. So that means it's 300, 3,840 watt hours of power. Now here's the crazy thing about that. I often think of 12 volts times 100 amp hours, 200 amp hours, 300 amp hours to just go from 1,000 to 2,000 to 3,000. But that's actually not true. <laughs> it's like 12,000, 1,280 watt hours. So when you double it, you get up to 2,560, I believe. And now you triple it, you get up to 3,800. So it's almost four kilowatt hours of battery power, y'all. This is bananas, bananas. Now this Joker has a display screen on it, which is fantastic. I mean, I don't know if the screen is fantastic. It's just fantastic that it has one. Let's see what it does. Oh, look at that. 51%, it shows you the voltage, the temperature. This is fantastic. I ain't never been so geeked about a screen. I mean, I got another battery that has a pretty light screen on it, but this one is pretty cool. Time to empty. Oh, that's fantastic. So I guess you press the button to go to page two. Oh, this, this is this is pretty cool. It shows you, I guess, how many cells are in here. I don't know what that's about. The button is a little soft. It takes some getting used to. And also, my understanding is that this is self-heating as well. I can't test that. Well, I look like Will Prowse. <laughs> And I'm pretty sure it has Bluetooth. Okay, typically these batteries come with these little caps in them. I don't know if this one twists out or pulls out. I think it just pulls out. I'm gonna pull those out. And then I need to get these, I need to get these lugs in here because I need to charge this battery. This, this is why I have to open it. So I need to get it into service as soon as possible. And this is pretty much what you have to do when you get a new battery. You tighten it. You may wanna go get a wrench to tighten it a little more because those connections, as I understand it, they need to be pretty snug. Now y'all, this Joker is 60 pounds. It's the same weight as some power stations. So you got a 2000 kilowatt hour power station weighs about the same weight as this. This one is a little bit heavy. I believe it's 68 pounds, not quite 60. So I gotta get it out and then carry it downstairs to start it to charging. Now, what I do like about this one is this one is a 200 amp hour uh, BMS situation, or you can see it's 64 pounds. 29.45 kilograms um what that means and they kind of spell it out for you because look at what it says right here max load inverter power so you can hook up a 2000 watt inverter to this pretty easy peasy you could even i believe hook up a 3000 watt inverter but you just can't go over 2560 that's one of the reasons why i was really impressed with the 200 amp bms because i could hook up a 2000 watt inverter to this and that could run pretty much most things in my house i could even get a 3000 and then run up to 2500 watts that's pretty dope and as you can see it comes with these little battery covers which i have never used a day in my life <laughs> let's look at the handles here okay so it's pretty much a rope man 60 pounds you you got to put a lot of faith in this rope <laughs> and i'm gonna do it all right let's get it somewhere to charging y'all i feel like such a professional right now with this big old battery <laughs> This is the most storage capacity I have. So now the big question is, how am I gonna charge it? Well, they sent me a charger. Let's go take a look at that. We are down in my basement. And just to make the point, I got that uh, dehumidifier running because I had all of this excess power. Let me show you what I mean. The oops, 90% pulling in 815 watts using 925. And that's not just the air. Let me turn this off. That's not just that. I'm also charging another battery down here at 300 watts. All right, we are back upstairs because I have slightly better lighting up here. All right, this is the battery charger. Nothing special about this particular charger. Uh, a lot of companies carry this. It's basically, you plug it into the wall. Well, I clamp them first. You get a little spark when you clamp them because the capacitors in here need to do something capacity. 
<laughs> and then you plug it into your charging source. Now this particular charger, I believe is a, you could see it's a 20 amp charger. So 14.6 volts, 20 amps, gives you 292 watts. Now I've been trying to get some companies to send me a bigger charger. There are some 40 amp chargers out there. Um, <laughs> this is only gonna put about 300 watt hours into the dip. I would love to double that to 600. Can you imagine how long this is gonna take to charge this joint at 300 watt hours against a almost 4,000 watt hour battery? It's gonna take a long time. <laughs> Let's get this monster downstairs and start charging it. And then we're gonna look at the screen to see what kind of information the screen gives when it's charging. Because long gone are the days where you have a battery with no ability to tell what's going on with it. You'll be able to see hopefully what's going in and a voltage change and all of that jazz, but let's, let's go find out. All right, we're gonna plug it in for the first time. I attach it first. Let's see if it sparks. No, it did not. Yeah, that button is gonna take some getting used to. It's pretty firm. <laughs> uh, it's not firm, it's pretty, I don't know, it's, it's something. It's something. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this in. The green light just changed to red. That means it's charging. Well, let's see what the screen is telling us. I don't really see anything showing up here. Oh, okay, yeah, it says right there. <laughs> Big old box that's charging. Oh, it changed from time to empty to time to full. So it tells you how long it's gonna to take to charge. So it tells you at this rate, it's gonna take seven hours and 12 minutes. <laughs> and it's halfway full. So it's gonna take 14 hours to get full. Now, let's talk about that. So when talking about this idea of charging and charging capacity and charging rate, I don't get caught up on how long things are gonna to take to charge. The amount of time it takes to charge almost doesn't matter. At the end of the day, at 300, Let's just call it 300 watt hours. Seven hours, seven times three is 21. I'm gonna have 2,100 watt, hour, watt hours that will go into that. That's fine. It doesn't have to get full. And you also don't have to deplete the battery when you use it. So it, it, it's cool. I still would like to get a faster charging rate because I think during the summer months, I'm gonna have a lot of solar to power dump into it. But if I'm getting 300 watt hours, I'm getting 300 watt hours. Now what would be cool, which I can do, I just have to figure out how is to charge it from two chargers. But because all of my chargers are battery clamp or alligator clamp or whatever they are, it'll be hard to get those on without them touching. <laughs> you can get lugs that, um, that basically come out and then come over to give you two contact points. You could even get taller lugs, which could be interesting. I don't know how tall you would wanna go, but the, the ones that give you two basically points, contact points, might be the most promising. So I may look into something like that. So yeah, this thing is pretty cool, man. I'm pretty sure, I think it, let me let me verify that. Hold on one second. Okay, it does have an app. It does have Bluetooth connectivity. So I wanted to show that real quick before I spoke on it because I wanted to confirm that. So the link to the product will be down in the bottom uh, description. I had a live stream where I talked about uh, having a large battery versus having a uh, gas generator. And I would almost rather, almost, I'm pretty, I would rather have a very large capacity battery than a gas generator. Because if you knew a storm was coming, right? Now this, the charger presents an issue because the charger's not fast. <laughs> but let's say you had a 40 amp or two chargers to charge it, or even a 60 amp charger. They get, they have bigger chargers that's super expensive. Not this company, I don't know what they offer, but I've seen other battery chargers. But let's say you have a storm coming. You have the ability to dump 60 amps into this joint, which is 12, I don't know what the heck that was, which is like 12 volts, 14 volts by 60 amps. I don't know what that is, 900 watts. So we're just gonna round up. You're getting 900 watts against a 4,000 watt hour capacity battery. I'm rounding up just to keep things simple. Um, you could have that charged in about five hours, right? And then I'd rather have that situation, you pair this with an inverter, you have power, and then you could charge it back up. Now, this is within the, the mean, y'all go watch the live. <laughs> the live stream, I'll talk about all that. I'll link it up here somewhere. I don't wanna get into that. This is about the battery. The battery itself seems fantastic on paper. 300 amp hours, 12 volts, self-heating, Bluetooth connectivity, screen that has some fire options on it so you know what you're looking at you know what you're doing you don't have to guess you don't need a shunt you don't need a you know what i mean it's like all of this stuff is unnecessary and you could just rock out 
even at 300 watts of charging, it's gonna be a fantastic power dump for me because I know at any point, this battery will be able to take in the pure total amount of solar I have from any of these arrays for the most part. All right, y'all, it's Ive. Uh...